Good evening everybody, I am Speedgood from Redfield Gaming and today we're going to be playing the Convenience Store. It's a horror simulator from Chiller's Art. I got it last year, saw it advertised on Ink Ribbon's channel. I thought I wanted to give it a go because the concept of doing like a, a horror experience through a mundane kind of job working at a convenience store. I mean, what could possibly go wrong? But it seemed like a great idea to be unraveling a mystery through... Uh, you know, going to work in a kind of in nighttime environment sort of thing. I, I wanted to give it a go and um, played it through last year to a point in the game, but gave up on it because I got really frustrated with a puzzle that just didn't seem to work. And I thought I'd return to it again this year. So we're going to play it through. We're going to see it through to the end and um, see how we get on. Okay, so voice is all in in Japanese. The movement is pretty basic, WASD and left mouse button. But every time you start the game, you have to amend all the settings. So the first thing that we have to do is eat, get changed. Grab a torch and head to work. So this isn't really survival horror. There's nothing to really survive or use to survive. It is literally a simulator. So you're going to work. It's going to be a normal, like I use the word Monday, normal mundane day or night. Um, but something's clearly going to go wrong. And the idea is you are, you know, just... I had to look up what a horror simulator was, and you're kind of just simulating a normal experience, but um, with horror in it, for want of a better phrase. Um, so it plays out like a sort of small movie or interactive novel in the case of some games. This is a lot more like a movie or a show. Um, it, it only costs a couple of quid. It's like half, you know, half the cost of a pint of beer. But... Um, I wasn't very impressed with it the first time I played. I thought I judged it a little bit too harshly. And it was not because it's a bad experience this game does. Um, uh, it does the atmosphere really, really well. It is really proper J-horror, scary psychological stuff. But I just felt that there was something about this game that's a little bit wasted. Um, what it doesn't have is any kind of randomized experience. So each playthrough is is always identical. Um, I can't remember where... There it is. There's the torch. So now we can actually go to work. I mean, you can explore... You can explore the apartment, but there's nothing really to do in here. Um, but you can already see it's, it's kind of grimy, it's dirty, there's stuff peeling off the walls. You know, it, it's already building that atmosphere of dark and dingy and kind of isolated. And you also know it's got a kind of, I, I, again, I always butcher my expression, so I don't know what the, 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 the term is, but it's got that sort of VHS kind of feel, that old videotape feel to it. Um, everything's got a slight bit of blur on it. There's a bit of like red and blue outline on things, like from an old videotape. Um, which I think, I don't know if it's a way to disguise some of the visual quality, which, to be honest, isn't bad. Um, but there is a, a lack of detail on certain parts of the game. For example, when we cross the bridge over the river, the river looks more like a bottomless pit than an actual river. Um, but I think it also adds to that kind of, um, like, sort of, again, the grimy feel of this dark Japanese suburb. So every every time we go to work, we have to do this this trek through town. I've, there's not really anything to do here. And I've seen one reviewer state on the Steam forums that it is pretty much a, a cheap way to extend the game. But again, if you just walked out of your apartment block and then magically appeared in the convenience store, it wouldn't be much of a game. So here we are. So here's where we, where we work. And nothing much to do here. 
But this chap sitting outside, you can go up and uh, talk to him. So F is my flashlight. Okay. I know what really happened here. I was called to warn you all. By the name I cannot speak of. The day of judgment will come. Hiya! Yeah, so it's like the classic guy who's the mad guy who's talking about doom outside, you know, Friday the 13th stuff. You know, in a normal kind of uh, situation, you would just go, yeah, the guy's, the guy's mad. So anyway, this is where we work. I think, you know, look at it. That's a really great kind of nice, nicely put together environment. But if you look at the the characters, it's like a, um, an image of a person superimposed on a figure. It kind of reminds me of the GoldenEye um, characters from the uh, N64. So anyway, so this is our manager. He says, oh, 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 God, you made it. I think it's our manager anyway. Hmm. Oh, no, it's just that I recently heard someone had fell off the bridge you just crossed. Well, I'm not surprised. It's a bottomless pit. There was an old lady that said she saw a man walking down the street with his legs completely bent the other way. Scary stuff. If only this was a true story. Ha ha ha. Ha. Sorry. Anyway, so. We can go behind. And let's talk to him again. So he's not going to say anything else. Or what are you waiting for? Punch in. Oh yes. So we've got to, we've got a clock in. Let's go to the office. Let's pick up our card. And is that the clocking in machine? Yes, it is. I've not had to use a card to punch in since uh, since the nineties when I was working part time in a toy store. But maybe that's. I don't know when this game's actually set to be honest. So we've got to take some expired food off the shelves. And it looks like the guy we were just working with, he's left for the night. So we're on our own. We're on our own in the store. So we've got to find this... Uh... We've got to find the expired food. So I don't think everything is expired. So we just check it all as we go along. Some are expired. So how do we actually take it? Oh, there we go. Click it again. So we've got some expired food. So someone's coming in. I think we have to... I don't know if the customers wait forever or we have to keep serving them as we go through. As they come in, sorry. Ah, right, we're going to do one at a time. So I think what I'm going to do is if you give the expired food to... Where's he gone? Oh, he's just browsing. Right, yeah, if we give this expired food to the guy outside, there is an achievement for it. So I'm just going to go around and see if he'll take it. There we go. He's a happy camper. Off he goes. Yeah, that would get you an achievement. There's only five achievements in the game. Two of those are alternate endings. Um, and one is for giving him that food. So this guy, it looks like he's got something in his hands. He's going to want to buy that. So we are just going to go behind the store and uh, see what he wants. Okay. What do I do? Ah, I might have to turn on the scan something. Thank you. Come again. I kind of always want to say that in a Pooh's accent, but I'm not going <laughs> to. So that shelf's fine. That's fine. Some are expired. So I'll take that. So the guy's gone away, so we can't give him any more food. So we need to go out the back, I think. Oh, there's some bins outside. Here we go. So we'll chuck that out. So yeah, you can see here that this something's happened here. This is all sealed off for a reason. And there's something behind there that we can't get to at the moment. So um, I'm going to go back in and see if there's some more food. Because I think in order to advance the story, you've got to complete 
everything that you, 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 you can do in the store each night. At least that's how I understand it anyway. So I did we check the drinks? Yeah, so sorry about that extended pause there. Uh, my kid just came in. He wanted to see what I was doing. That's the side effect of being a gamer dad. Right. So this was buzzing away. It's like somebody was coming in, but uh, there was actually nobody there. Creepy, huh? Yeah, there are certain moments in here that can be really quite... Um, Eerie. The first time you play it, naturally it's um, not as scary the second time through you're playing it. But I think the idea is it is feeding off the concept of working on your own late at night, you know, where you can hear a strange sound, etc. Uh, something like that. So I wonder if I've missed some expired food. Let's see the toilet. What does that say out there? Thank you for always keeping the toilet clean. Oddly convincing. Ah, there's somebody with a delivery. <coughs> Let's see what he wants. It's kind of late for a delivery man at this time, huh? We've recently incorporated this system exclusively for convenience stores that are open late at night. Looks like this package is directly shipped to this store. Oh, and the name matches your tag. Think this is for you. Right, so let's see what we've got here. We're going to take it home. So that's the first night at the store. We don't have to do all the walk, all the walk back, but it looks like we're making dinner already, but here's what's in the package. A videotape. Again, I think that's why this is actually set in the in the 90s or something. We've got a videotape, so let's see what it has on it. So, that looked like the yellow tape we saw earlier outside the store. Um, this is what I mean, like, kind of, I'm not really experienced in J-horror or anything like that, but I kind of, you know, get the impression of, you know, the ring, anything to do with um, sort of videotapes and horror, you know, that's instantly what comes to mind. But anyway, there's something strange going on and why have we received that tape so anyway let's see pick up flashlight i'm guessing we need to change our clothes again or are we all ready to go so let's go back to work first night You can already see this time, it's pitch black. There's no sort of dark blue sky, it is pitch black. And I think this is a wasted opportunity, this part of the town, because they could have added something really terrifying here. Um, but instead, I don't think there is anything to do other than just leg it to work. And you just got to remember your way in the dark, how to get down. I don't know if there's more than one way or if there is anything else to do here other than just run down to the bottom and then I have got turned around here yeah, run this way like honestly it would not be this dark I mean I've never been to Japan but I'm assuming the streets are better lit than this Am I even going the right way? Oh, okay, here's the bridge. 
And there's the store. Good. Kind of feels oddly comforting in the dark. Even though we know bad things are going to happen. Okay, so what has he got to say to us today? Hey, hey! So I heard you reported that the doors would open on their own. Well, we got a guy to check the sensor and it seems like the wirings were loose. Oh, you thought it was some sort of poltergeist? I see those on TV all the time, but they're all scripted. Ghosts aren't real, after all. Would you please punch in? Maybe. Let's go in. <laughs> right, let's let's have a go. Here we go. Let's punch in. Let's see what our manager wants us to do today. I saw some rats behind the store yesterday. Someone must have left the garbage bin. That's probably me, actually. First person to see this note has to get rid of the rodents ASAP. Your manager. Oh yeah, one thing I forgot to sort of show you is at any time you can use the CCTV, which is actually a big part of the game, and I missed it on first night. So here we go. You can control it by moving the mouse. The range is not very far. And if you hold down the right mouse button, you can zoom in. And this plays more of a, a role later on. And uh, you can switch between the different um, cameras, see what's going on. And each time I look through these, I'm waiting for something to happen. Anyway, so press escape to come out of that. I did hear somebody came in the store. Oh no, that was the guy leaving, wasn't it? So we've got to go and take, sort out the um, the rat problem. So let's go and have a look what's going on here. Yeah, what's this? Right. I have to deal with these rats. Oh, here we go. I can hear a customer's come in. If I can get this done quickly. While I'm here. I think it's just out the back. There we go. Something there on the other side of the wall. Now, was that the tape we saw in the video? I seem to recall we saw this kind of brick. Just check behind, there we go. And there's the last one. All done. Anyway, let's see. Okay, so this old lady's come in. She looks like she's heading for the toilet. I'll leave her to take care of that. Meanwhile, I'm going to pop outside and see if I can get round the other side of the store and see what that um, clickable was. Or was that? Ah, uh, no, it was the computer through the wall. That's what it was. I was getting a bit turned around. So there's nobody else in here at the moment, it looks like. So what we're going to do is we've done the task for the day. We're going to go and check the CCTV and see what's going on. OK, so there's nothing, nothing on that camera. Oh, someone's coming in. What's this guy want? Go and see. Hey, I'm in a hurry. Now, could you please fetch me five cans of beer and a pack of cigars? Hurry up. He does not sound happy. Right. I don't know why he can't get them himself. 
But I'm sure we can stretch to that. <laughs> Go get it yourself. So here's the beer. Oh, there's a can of beer. I put my hand through the glass, it looks like. Do I just give it to him like that? Yep, yeah, one. You'd think we'd be we'd grab like a, a six pack. And that these wouldn't all be individual beers, right? But it is what it is. So I don't know why I got the impression that we are playing a, a student who is working in the evenings. I have no idea where I got that from. Whether I read that in the game description or something. I can't remember. And whether that bears any relevance to the game or not. <laughs> But I think it always helps if you can sort of build up an understanding or some sort of affinity with a character, makes them a bit more kind of real. If you know a bit about who they are, what they do, otherwise you can't kind of relate in any way, shape or form. Because I remember when I was a student working evenings and stuff, you're like knackered because you've been working all day at university and then you have to work at night as well. Did we do the... Did you say five beers, was it? I thought it was a six-pack. Okay, and cigars. He wanted cigars. I guess they're behind the counter. Then most of the time they are. In the UK they are anyway. They're always behind the counter. There we are. Now we have to take the scanner and scan his card. So this is what I mean about the sort of randomization element. All of these, I remember from like a year ago when I first played this, if they had sort of, oh, she's come out now. If they had kind of random encounters from like a selection of, I don't know, a hundred, it would make it a lot more interesting. So she says, huh? Where's Ken-kun? Do you know where Ken-kun is? I thought I heard his voice. This was my daughter's house. What did you do? How dare you? Everyone seems very hostile. I will shut that behind her. So I wonder if that was the, the lady that the other guy in the store was saying saw somebody with their legs round the wrong way. We'll have to see. But yeah, going back to the point about the randomization of it, I understand that would have cost a lot more from a development perspective. And I've got no problem with that. I'd pay more for more, if that makes sense. But I think, um, yeah, this isn't the kind of game that I'd you know, play regularly. Um, and I'm kind of playing it now because I wanted to give another chance and also complete it. And I didn't complete it last time, which is kind of laughable considering it's quite a short game. Yeah, so we'll go back. I think when nothing's happening, I don't know if that's a kind of cue to check the CCTV and see if that will trigger the next um, kind of... Oh, someone's coming in now. Just when I started. Kind of see who's coming in. Oh, did you see that? Did you see that? Little kid just ran away at the bottom of this camera. Anyway, I think someone's coming to the store. Either that or that was the kid. Who um, might have triggered the doors? See if we can find where he went to. Oh, is that the delivery dude again? And this time he hasn't got a box. Good to see you again. 
Oh, you know, the unstoppable trend on ordering everything online. Anyway, there seems to be a package that needs to be picked up here. Is there? Aha! There is! So yeah, I should probably just uh, keep checking around. Make sure there's nothing untoward going on. Yeah, there's nothing to interact with out here. But I am sure that in the videotape it showed this tape, but with this brick. So I wonder if there's another pot. I mean, I don't think you can go very f Oh, second night. I guess handing the parcel in this time was uh, what we needed to do, rather than um, take one home. Oh, okay. Get the umbrella. We're already changed. It looks like we changed on the first night. We've never had to change our clothes again since. Let's see, do we have to eat anything? Empty cupboard. Fridge, even. And where? I've, that's bad luck. Opening the umbrella in the house is bad luck. Let's pick up the flashlight or torch. I just heard a knocking. I think someone's knocking. Aha! So, another tape. Who is sending me these tapes? Why? Let's, let's see what's on this one. Okay, what is that showing me? Again, I can see some of that tape. I wonder if that's upside down. I can't work out what that is. It looks like somewhere at the convenience store or in the town. But I couldn't work out from that what it was. It wasn't clear. So let's, let's um, start running. I remember my way actually. I think it's this way. Yeah, they could have added some really cheesy jump scares at this point where you run into people from around the town, like crazy people out at night. But I guess that's the, that. That's it. I get maybe that that is what makes this this part kind of scary. Is you're expecting the whole time to run into somebody. I think this company they've done quite a few of these sort of games now, and most of them have got quite positive reviews. Um, and I'd be definitely keen to check out some of the others. I mean, what, for a couple of quid? It's not, not too shabby. Okay, there's nobody here today. Oh, that made me jump. Boo. I got you good, huh? Yes, you did. Okay, okay. Fine, I'll stop. I promise I won't do it again. And there's me just talking about jump scares. <laughs> right.
What's our task for today? Some products were missing on the shelf. Always keep the shelves full. That's our motto. So please restock them by tomorrow morning. Your manager. And we will do just that. So I had to be quite precise with where I was clicking there. And I've got to find where these go on the shelves. They look like... I'm guessing there's gaps on the shelves. Rather than you just click on the right colour. Oh, they just go in here or something where there's... Aha, here we are. Restock. This looks like um, some frozen food. Okay, the door's locked. Who on earth just locked the door? Don't want to turn around now. Oh man. Ah, oh, I heard it click open then. Ah, oh, that's better. All right, let's see who's here. No one. Oh. Here's a customer. Let's see what this chat wants. I'm Hamada. So there's something wrong with the air conditioning. Your boss seemed desperate and keep you the food fresh. I hate to be working this late, but he pays me well, you know. Don't mind me. I'll just quickly check the outside units and head right out. He looks like a surgeon. Okay, well, I'll leave him to do that then. Let's go and stock the rest of the shelves. I can't remember which boxes I've been to. Oh, here's one. I didn't actually see what I just picked up. Is that sort of like triangular? I don't know if that's magazines or... Nope. Not actually quite sure what I just picked up. Looks triangular. Uh huh. I wonder if there's something on here. Nope. Ah, there we go. I think there's two more things, judging by the gaps. I think that's got left. I think some magazines and some more stuff for that fridge. Ooh. Oh, that's <laughs> the guy repairing the aircon. What does he have to say? Oh, is that it? Has he done it? So, where's the remaining stuff? I'm looking for like a yellow marker.
way it goes. So where... Where, if you were some stuff that needed to be restocked, where would you be? We also... Something out there, right. What's this? A wrench, huh? I wonder why we're opening the air conditioning. A key. I wonder if. Oh, I wonder if that's to get access to something inside, just to restock the shelf. I don't know. Let's go and check. I think a customer's just come in as well. Unless it's just something in the in the storeroom behind the counter, perhaps? Let's see what this lady wants. Do we have to talk to her from behind here? Oh, she just needs a uh, oh, drop item. Right, okay. Scan that. Hey, are you the only one working here? Can't believe this. What kind of a manager puts a girl on a midnight shift alone? I see you have no choice. Well, at the very least, I'll give you my protection charm. Now be careful. Oh, that's very nice of her. We'll take the charm. I wonder what happens if you don't take the charm. I don't know. All right, let's see what we can do with this. Is it for a locker? No. Let's just check the CCTV, see what's going on. Nothing. Oh! Ribbon's all cut. The ribbon's all cut. Okay, so that key is going to be linked to that. There's got to be. I think, I think, I think I can remember. But I mean, really. Okay. What was that? <laughs> it's a haunted toilet. Oh no. I'm trapped in the toilet. Ooh. And that glitchy camera as well. Oh. Okay. What is going on? So I bet there's no one here again. Someone in here. There was somebody typing on the computer. I could hear that. I could hear them pressing the keys. Okay, why has it kicked me out? Oh! Oh, that was horrendous. <laughs> I'd completely forgotten about that. <laughs> I just got the chills. <laughs> oh, man. That's what I mean about this game. It's got some great atmosphere to it. Okay, something's definitely wrong with that camera now. Right, let's go. Let's let's go outside. Let's go outside and investigate those uh, broken um, broken banners or broken tape.
was that thing? I'm assuming that that's a road work sign. Nothing out here but some little dingy shed. My arm goes numb when I try to open it. Feels as though something is grabbing me. I would be out of. I can't open it. I would be so far out of here. Yeah, I can't even run anymore. Once you're at work, you can't run. You can run through the town, but you can't uh, run here. So now what? So I can't. So I can't get out the back. There's something seriously haunted about this place. This one doesn't seem. This one only goes up and down. This one doesn't seem to. Um, oh no, goes right. I can't zoom any further. I wish they had more range on these cameras. I'm guessing. I mean, I've never used normal CCTV. I'm guessing it would go wider than this. Yeah, that one's still screwed. Even the camera's scared. We didn't finish stocking the shelves, did we? I'd forgotten all about that. I've got to go find the rest of the stuff. And I'm guessing that then triggers the end of this night. It's just a case of finding it now. doesn't seem to be anything else to pick up. Nope, 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 nope. Because you'd think it would be these, because these, these are sitting there on display, but are they out here? Like sitting in boxes somewhere that I've just missed. That'll be a computer. No. So there's a gap here, and there is a gap. It kind of doesn't matter now, there's stuff all over the floor, but there's a gap there. That's what I thought I had two things left to do. No. Nothing there's any customers coming? No. So let's just check the... the room here just in case there's some more stuff in here what does he say right does he give a number some products were missing on the shelf always keep the shelves full that's our motto so please restock them by tomorrow morning your manager there isn't an amount just check that they're not down here beneath the counter right let's just have another look at the cctv in case i've missed something And then if not, yeah, it, it must be back in the storeroom. I must have just missed it. But, you know, it's not exactly a big storeroom. Can't click it. So I have to actually just go and grab something and put it there. Right.
I'm clicking away. There isn't a crouch or anything. Where are they? Do we have to open a box? Can't go any further than that. Hmm. There's no one there, is there? Do I better pick these up? There's nothing to click on at all. So what have I missed? It's going to be somewhere like really obvious, isn't it? Like when I do find it, like it's in the bottom of an open box already. I was just making the assumption they were all in open boxes, three brown boxes that all look identical. Nothing I've left here. Nothing here. You think there would be like a tidy up kind of option? I can turn my, my light on or off. No. No one here or anything, is there? Because I think I think what you have to do is you have to trigger certain things in a certain order to make the story move on. But I can't even leave work now I'm here, so I kind of like I'm I'm trying to move backward at this point and I, it won't do anything. Ah, oh, pick up the talisman. I was looking for a yellow marker. I swear I tried to uh, click on that before. So I'm pretty sure we now use these on the door. They allow us to get access to the shed. Exercise the door. Oh. Manager. Or. So, how has he been leaving me notes? Oh my god. I'm stuck in here. Oh man. Oh, he's looking at me. <laughs> Get out of here. I don't want to be in here. <laughs> Oh, look, he's following me around the room. Oh, that was terrifying. <laughs> Third night. We don't even know how we got out of that. But I would not be going back to work. I tell you now, I would be out of here. Right, what's this? So we've got another videotape somehow. I'm guessing that was from the room. It looked like he was watching uh, TV from his little shed. Like, let's have a look, see what this one shows. So that looks like the shed at an angle, the one we were just in. The 
What does it mean? What does it mean? Right, okay. Even though I don't want to go back. What a nightmare. Was it all a dream? So yeah, that implies that we are just passing out and then waking up again back in our apartment. And yet somehow we are still going to work. It's okay. Let's just... um. Let's just leg it. I think um, the first person perspective clearly makes for a more terrifying experience. It's like the latest Resident Evils, the in first person, Seven and the upcoming Village. I think that makes it far more re realistic in a way, I guess. Because you've got more of a an unnatural field of view when you're playing it third person. You can see more than the character would actually see. So this definitely adds to the immersion. It's like you're kind of waiting. As things are getting more and more scary with each with each night, more and more like nasty events are happening. You're kind of waiting for the next one to just jump out at you from somewhere because you can't see very far, especially with how dark it is, and this torch is doing just nothing. All right. Okay, so our, our colleague is not here. Looks like we're on our own. Funnily enough, no note for the manager and no punch card either. So I guess I'll just watch the CCTV. Can't see anything on that one. So this is the one that got messed up last night. I think it was last night. Or the night before. I can't remember what it was now. Nothing. Nothing there either. Nothing. Okay, okay, so no customers, no staff. Let's go and have an... Oh! Okay, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> Where's my torch? Yeah, so I think this is about where I got to last time I played this. So let's see what's going on. Okay. That's the boy we saw earlier. We ran away. I just caught him on the edge of the CCTV. So he seems to be looking. Oh, I remember this. He's looking at certain TVs. I think we have to look at the same ones he does. It's really hard because there's such... It's really hard to tell from, from this really poor angle which ones he's looking at. See, I already can't remember which ones he's looking at. Is that right? I don't know. Right. 
Was it that one? So I'm not quite sure what's supposed to happen. Ah, so that one is hissing away, so that's got to be wrong. Does it turn off? Can I turn it off? No. Do I have to go back to the CCTV again? No, I can't even do that. Do I have to find the right one? Nothing's happening. Did I get it right? See, I don't know. Oh, I can hear something really, really... Oh, man. Oh, get me out of here. <laughs> did I did I do it? The lights are back on. The door's broken again or is someone here? Okay, right, back. I can't go back through there. Okay, so there's one. There's only one way we can go now, isn't there? The the tall thing, ghost, person, whatever it is, was by this door. You now we're clearly meant to go back this way and probably suffer the same fate as our manager did. If I can't get in. Maybe we're not. So that boy was in this corner, wasn't he? He's gone now. So how do I... Fourth night. Okay. What's this video going to show? <laughs> okay. What's that? There's a videotape. Box bin player. Yes, I am sure. <laughs> That's my apartment. That... So what is it? Is it the f is it the future, or is someone like watching me every night? Okay. Is that someone at the door? Oh my god! Is that someone at the door? Terrifying. I can't move. Okay, the mouse won't move. Oh my god, there's a shadow. Oh no. I just got an achievement saying ending two. Oh no, <laughs> that was terrifying. I wonder if I was supposed to send it, put it in the box or the bin or something.
you know, like the whole, you know, with with the ring, you had to, like, back in the day of, was it, the, the sort of chain emails, you had to always send it on to somebody else, otherwise something bad was going to happen, it's bad luck, and with the video, you had to send the video on. I wonder if it's the same sort of um, principle with this one. <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> that is, um, I don't know, for two quid, not bad. I, I have to say the the atmosphere was brilliant, absolutely terrifying. Like I'd played, it looks like I played the majority of that up to the TV point and I still got caught out by some of the jump scares. It still had me on edge. I can imagine playing that for the first time again. Yeah, that was... Um, yeah, that was worth it. I'm glad I've done it now. <laughs> I might play it again and capture the uh, the other ending, actually, quickly. And then I'll add it on straight after this so you can see what happens if I get the other ending. Because I know there's another ending from the, from the achievements. I'm guessing I have to return it in the box or put it in the bin or something. So we'll go and do that now and add it on to the end. Okay, so here we are back in the apartment again. I can't believe I just played it through again. And this time we are not going to watch the video. I don't even think throwing the video away is a good idea either. We're going to post it back because that's what the kind of urban legend is all about, right? So we're going to send it off to somebody else and see what happens. Yes, we are sure. Ah, oh, ending one. So that's the other achievement. Okay, so I was sickened by the whole situation. I sealed the VHS tape carefully and decided to send it off to the sender. Fortunately, the sender's address was on the box. When I was done preparing to send it off, I felt my tense shoulders relax. Too much had happened in a short span. My mind couldn't keep up. I knew I had to rest, but I couldn't fall asleep. Everything about the store terrified me. Inevitably, I had to sit down on the chair to clear up my head. What did I see? Was everything I witnessed even real? Although I was scared, I knew I had to know the truth. I wanted to know why. I wanted to know what had happened and why. So I turned to the internet about the store. I found a few old articles and forums talking about the location of where the building was made. One comment on a strange forum stood out to me. It said, there seemed to have been gruesome killings at the property. I searched for the same user's comments. In 2009, there was a case where a man who was the mainstay of the family committed a murder-suicide. I determined to investigate the incident further. September the 14th, the man killed his child with a kitchen knife while his wife was off to a grocery shopping to a local off to do a grocery shopping into a local supermarket. When the wife came back, it said that she was killed in an extreme way. He then hung himself on the same day. They say that the woman was pregnant at the time of her death. The woman was killed with several nails punctured onto her, along with her child in her stomach. I wanted to throw up from the obscene images, but I had to continue. There was a guy that replied to the comment and said that he worked at the same place as him. According to him, the man was often harassed by his boss at work and he complained to several colleagues, and on the day of the incident, it is said that he had an emotionless face. Imagining what the family had gone through, depression and hatred occupied my head. It was very painful. Tears in my eyes, I closed the internet gently, and called the manager to talk about everything I'd experienced during the night shift, and what I'd discovered. However, the calls were never picked up. It was the same over and over again. Then I received a phone call from Mr. Hosoi, a franchise leader who I'd never met, and had a bad feeling about it. Then with a shivering voice he said, The manager is dead. I couldn't breathe, so it wasn't a dream. And when I asked about the place where he was found, Mr. Hosoe said that there was an old storage behind a convenience store and he was found there after a day of his death. I dropped my phone. I quit my part-time job with a broken feeling. After quitting I would avoid going near the convenience store wherever I could. Because every time I passed in front of the store I would always feel a sharp stare towards me and I wouldn't be able to I wouldn't be able to help but to try and pass as quickly as possible so as not to look at the building. A day later, the store had closed down. The reason seems to be poor management, but further details were not publicised. At that point, I didn't have the means or the courage to examine it anymore. 
After a while, the memories of the convenience store started to haze down a bit. And one day, as I passed by the now closed down store, I heard a child's voice. And there I saw the woman. When I looked in my hand, I had picked up one of the rusted nails that had fallen in the middle of the site. Hmm. Yeah, so it wasn't set in the 90s. It was it was a modern story. But um, it, it definitely has that kind of campfire ghost story kind of feel to it. Um, very, very atmospheric. Just waiting to see if something else is going to happen. Oh, here we go. It's just the credits now. Game by Chiller's Art. So yeah, it's um interesting one. Again, would have probably been much more... Much more interesting, I think, if it had more randomization to it. I think that would have made it a lot more replayable. Um, and I thought it was more of a mystery. It seemed to be kind of just acting out a series of events in order, on rails, if you like. Um, but, you know, it's the atmosphere. That's great. I think I'm going to have to try out some of the other ones at some point. Uh, and when I do, I put these on the channel. So anyway, we're gonna, we'll call it there now. So thank you very much for watching. And until next time, please stay safe. Bye-bye.